Davidson. I'm here with Kyle, and we're making a video to show you how to do this with your iPad. You could also do it with your um, cell phone, and we'll tell you about that too. But first of all, here's a $5 bill, the regular $5 bill. Nothing fake, nothing phony about this $5 bill. Let's turn it over, and on the back, let's take a look at it with the microscope that I've attached to my iPad. This is what we're going to show you how to do. So look how cool this is. Here's the back of the $5 bill. Kyle, can you get in and show that? Oh yeah. So there it is. It's kind of cool. Look, above the, I don't know if you noticed this or not, but above the the little uh, columns on Can't a $5 see it on the bill cam. Nope. is here, is the names of the states. Did you know that? Look, I'm names of the that. states. And if you look over here, here's the eye of uh, Abraham Lincoln. Which is pretty cool. Now, all, all you can do is with flowers, you can do it with, let's see what my shirt looks like. There's the fabric of my shirt. Uh, here's the, what it looks like with my hair. <laughs> right. So anyway, how do you do this? Uh, you can do this for, depending on how good a deal you get, between $3 and $9. So that's how it works. So let's, let's do this. I'm going to turn this. So here's what we did. So what I want to do is I go to Amazon. Here's the page from Amazon. Uh, September 22nd, 2011, you could get this camera with the Illuminator uh, for $3.99. You want to make sure that you get the regular Illuminator, not the UV, unless you want the UV. Bananas look very cool under UV if they're ripe, but that's how bugs can tell. Did you know that? <laughs> anyway, the, um, this is uh, available for $3.99, and I had free shipping, so that's what it cost me to get this. And it comes in a little leatherette case. Ooh. And here's what it looks like. That's the one I just used with this light on it. You can get it with a UV light or a regular light, or if you're lucky, both. Sometimes the one for both is not there. Anyway, um, so this will run up somewhere between $6 and $3, but $3 is what you want to pay. Then you want to be able to attach it, and how do you put it on here? And I used to, um, I used to uh, tape it on, which worked pretty well, uh, but this is really basically semi-permanent and pretty good. So what you do is you go and buy a rubber grommet. This is what it looks like. Got it at a hardware store. Um, this is what they look like when they're new. It's a half inch grommet. So you can buy them in combinations. I think uh, they end up costing about 80 cents each. Uh, if you're lucky, this is I think from Osh, either Osh or Home Depot. Those are large, and you can get them at small hardware stores too. Uh, but it's a half inch grommet, one half inch, 12.7 millimeters. Uh, that's what you want. And this is what it looks like. So I bought them at, uh, when I went to, um, this was Home Depot, a large retail hardware store, and uh, the half-inch grommets come singly, and I think they were 90 cents, something like that. Or you can buy a group of them, and they're cheaper. So you want to get this onto here, and how do you do that? You do it with crazy glue, or any kind of super glue. This stuff really works well, and it works fast, so it works pretty well. So it's uh, really sort of the choice you want. So here's the crazy glue, and again, this is inexpensive. I think each of these, the small containers, must cost certainly less than a dollar. I can't remember. Kyle, do you know how much they cost? You know, I haven't checked lately. I'll tell you. Oh, you don't go buy a super glue? Not often. But I do like that you can get all this stuff just, you know, anywhere in local hardware store. Look at the, the spread here. In fact, somebody told me once, I didn't verify this, that you could get all this on Amazon. Now, this you don't need, but if you make a mistake with the super glue, Could be then you need it. And here's why. You'll notice on, a, uh, on an iPad, the camera is awfully close to the power switch. So the first time I did this, I actually super glued down the power switch, uh, which can be a problem. But if you take a cotton ball and, and a nail polish remover, it fixes it right away. However, I have learned that if you super glue it to power down and you take it back to be fixed service, they never figure it out. They just go, it doesn't work. You put, anyway, so forget <laughs> I said that. But here's, so we're going to take this and we're going to put super glue on it, hold it down for a few seconds, and then it'll work. And what you want to do, of course, is to get it kind of like that so it's in the center. You don't want to squish it or hold it too tight, which is what I did the first time. You want to just kind of set it down over it and hold it down. And I'm not going to glue the top of it. If you look really closely, and it's probably going to be hard to see, because of the curve of the iPad, the, uh, the grommet doesn't go all the way down anyway. So you don't really have to glue it all the way, 360 all the way around. So I'm going to take it and I'm going to glue it um, just so it goes over the hole. And here it is. So I'm not going to glue this upper part. We'll see if this works. Anyway, so let's see if the super glue is working. Uh, yep, there it is. So I'm going to glue, so put super glue around this part of it. And this stuff is, as you know, amazing. So there we go. And that's the super glue around there. I'm going to take it over here. 
put the unglued part up by the power strip and I just kind of eyeball this. I tried it with a pencil and I do little circles and stuff, but you know what? You don't really have to. So I just eyeballed it and put it down there like that. Notice there wasn't much super glue. Notice that um, uh, I didn't slather it on, which I think is a mistake with super glue. Anyway, so I didn't do the top part of this, and I haven't done it this way before. I've always glued it all the way around, but I think this is going to work. Anyway, as you saw, that held it down for months, and I put this in and out of a computer case, not an iPad case, but a computer case, and it rubs up against something all the time. It was still hard to get rid of. So there we go. It doesn't look to me like it's exactly in the center look. So I, if I was really compulsive, I might take it out. But the thing is, it's a rubber grommet, so it kind of moves around anyway. So let's test it out. Yeah, I could have done better with that. You know, the lighting here is bad, but I'm, I'm sacrificing this so that this video can be made. Because Kyle has to leave, right? Kyle, you can go. <laughs> a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, he's going to pick up a car. Ooh. Anyway, here's, so here's the, uh, here's the camera. Let's turn it over, and let's see if, I, if there's any super glue on the camera. I'm going to take off my little holder. Look, it's my lovely family. Let's uh, look at the camera. And on this camera, as you know, if it's in still mode, not in video mode, you can um, zoom in. So the camera, you see, working pretty well. So now let's take it and let's turn it over and take the, um, the microscope, three dollars and whatever cents. This is the way you focus it. You, you move it in and out. As you know, focus is a matter of distance, so the focal length is there. This is not one of the best ones I've had because it's very loose, but it's fine for me. And by the way, if you find the perfect focal length, that's when you take a piece of this tape, tape it around, and it always stays at that length. So if you, if you don't like zooming in and out, you can always do that. So I'm going to fit this right in here. The half-inch grommet fits perfectly, or as we like to say, 12.7 millimeters. So let's stick that in there. Notice it's so you want it to be strong enough that it'll, it'll still hold the in and out, which it does. So that's, that's pretty cool. So let's turn it over. Here's the, um, this is, uh, <laughs> looking the other way. So let's turn it back to it. It's it's oh, it's camera. Kyle. Now you know, what, now you know what, Kyle, what Kyle looks like. So there it is. And it looks like the hole. And as you can see, that's not great. When you make a video, you have to leave it this way. The video won't zoom in. So then you crop it. But I'll show you a video I made of a grasshopper, uh, the dying seconds of a grasshopper. And you'll uh, see what I mean. But let's click on this now. It's in still mode. So it will zoom in. So we'll zoom in like that. So there it is. Um, let's go look at Lincoln's eye. And there you can see that there's... Um, Lincoln's eyeball. So it works. Works pretty well, don't you think? I, th I think it looks great. Man. All right, good. Thank Where you. Where do you learn this from? You know what? I just sort of figured this out. I was uh, talking with Steve Dembo about apps one day, and there was a, a guy that did this on his uh, cell phone. You buy, and if you want to do it on a cell phone, by the way, you do it, and it's uh, sort of the same way. You don't want to glue it directly on your cell phone somewhere over here. There's a description. Let's see. Somewhere um, over here, you want to buy like a cheap case. You super glue the, the, either the grommet or the whole um, microscope onto the case. And there's how to do that's on a website. You I suppose it's still an option here. Yeah, and you actually could put the grommet on your phone. But phones, a lot of people go in cases or your pockets and stuff. It might drive you crazy. So anyway, that's how we did it. Uh, the super glued the grommet. Oh, I wanted to show you that uh, even though we've done this, right, and you've got, as you can see, uh, there again is the fiber of my shirt. Right, pretty neat. If I turn the light on, it's bright enough here. Look, it's a little bit better. I like it better without the light, actually. Um, the light kind of throws it off, but you can use the light if you want. So I'm going to turn this off. Uh, let me show you that I'm going to take this off. And even though, and look, I'm going to have to glue it more around. Because look, see, it's, this is the part that I didn't glue, and it wants to let go. So I may have to glue it, put a little more glue on there. But it's not going to come off probably for a month even this way. Let's go back and take a look and see if the uh, camera itself still works. So to do that, I'm going to go into a, um, an app, a, uh, a barcode app, because I have a barcode here. Then obviously your camera has to work if you're going to look on a barcode. So let's look at, um, let's scan this. This is a scan, I think, from Scan City. Do you know where this one came from, Kyle? Let's look at this. Uh, here's a, um, as you can see, a QR code. Did I say did, barcode? Did, yeah, you did oh. say barcode. But QR code, did you make that with Kiowa? Yeah, I did make this with Kyla, and I went to a site, and let's see what it looks like, barcode. Well, it's a cousin of a barcode. Yeah. So we click on this, and it'll turn green. There we go. And it takes me right away to a site that I have um, made the QR code for on Kyla, a QR code maker. And now what we have is a, uh, a direct link to a video. And this is a direct link to a, a video of a flower. 
is kind of be the flower, you know. Uh, I can make it large. But it means that if a student has a cell phone or an iPad and you decide to make QR codes and put them around the room, they can link directly to this. This is the Discovery Education site, which is in more than half the schools of the country. And we're shooting this at Discovery Headquarters in Silver Spring, so I guess it's appropriate. But you can see from this that, in fact, the regular camera still works, the scan still works, the QR codes still work, and that's pretty cool. So that's how you do it. Again, keep nail polish and move around just in case you, you glue too much up here and you might turn it off and on and see if it works. Let's see. Turn it off and on. Yep, yep. My power button still works. And I think I may just put a little bit of glue there if I can avoid, make sure it's still coming out, if I can avoid the power strip just because I haven't done this. Okay. I haven't done this before. Let's see if that works. Hold it down. It's always fun to do things live for a shot on the video. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so when I take it back to uh, to the Apple store and say, you know, the power button didn't work, uh, they'll go. I'm not sure why, Mr. Davidson. Yes, yeah, right. Let, let me look it up on YouTube. <laughs> so if you have any questions, um, email Kyle. <laughs> and uh, Anyway, we'll give you some information. But uh, hopefully that's helpful. And uh, thank you very much. Try it. Um, it's very cool to have videos that you made. In fact, let me show you one. I did make a video. I know Kyle's got to go. But well, let's look at this one. Well, this some of the power of this hall, you know, I actually wanted to ask that question to you. you know, what's, so, what's the advantage of having this microscope on your iPad rather than just, you know, saying taking it on a, com a camera and, and putting it on your computer or something like that? Well, this, this can go anywhere. So if this is if you're in a one-to-one -one iPad initiative, wouldn't that be wonderful? I can go out and look at the veins of leaves, or I can uh, look at the difference between natural and synthetic fabrics, or I can do whatever I need to do. I can also become a documentary uh, maker at the microscopic level. So this is a grasshopper. I shot this, and you know you have to remember the videos only shoot in the hole. So this is a grasshopper I shot, and then edited in uh, Real Director, which is an app uh, on the iPad that. Uh, uh, let me crop, so I cropped out the circle. But as you can see, look at the grasshopper leg there. That's pretty dang cool. So there's a grasshopper's leg. Uh, there's uh, more part of it. I think we there's his antenna, antennae, and uh, some other stuff. Anyway, that's that's just pretty neat. And I've also made uh, videos of flowers and of other stuff. And I could do a narration for this. It'd be very cool. But I think that's pretty nifty. This was all made, all edited on the iPad with uh, the app Real Director, and you could certainly use other apps, but Real Director and the uh, microscope. So that's about it. I want to thank Kyle for helping with this. And uh, Kyle, we've made videos before. We have. Uh, Thumbs up. So let me say that if you go in looking for grommets, it's usually in the electrical section. All right, thanks. You probably have uh, ways to enhance, augment, and improve what I've done, and I hope you do. Thanks very much, Hall Davidson, uh, with the Discovery Educator Network. Go ahead. Thanks, Kyle. You're welcome.